please welcome John Mulaney. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing fine. How are you? I'm very good. I, uh, uh, congratulations. I understand the show has been extended through January. Yes, till January 22nd. That's yeah. fantastic. Yes. Uh, I think it should be extended forever. Really? I, I was lucky enough. What they, you have guests, and people don't know, you have guests who come on in the show. Yes, we have a point. surprise guest every night. Our two characters have their own cable access show within the play. Yes. And we have a special you guest and come Nick out. Kroll, exactly. Myself and the wonderfully talented Nick Kroll. And uh, you're on Broadway. Broadway, you're on yes. Broadway. The correct pronunciation is Broadway. And, and we're and east, I was your we're guest east one of night. Broadway, which is the good side. Right. We're basically on Sixth Avenue. Yeah. Still very nice. Still and I was your nice. guest one night. Yes, you were. And I couldn't believe how devastatingly, crushingly funny it was. I was okay. like, they're going to have to check the building for structural damage. <laughs> Because the laughs were so loud. That's, it was almost infuriating how well the show was going for you. That's the best As another compliment comedian, I could ever get. I was get, really is kind that of upset. You, a very I mean, nice man, were infuriated. <laughs> That's wonderful. But it was great. You should be longer. Do you want to Do you want to go further than January 27th? Or do you well, our stop plan, then? January 22nd. You know, oh, okay. I, know, I know, hello uh, on Broadway.com for tickets. But anyway, uh, <laughs> we would go uh, potentially until we are old enough to play the 72 year old men we play now. We would like to do it to the point that we don't get why. It's funny the things these old men are doing. That's the plan. Well, uh, that I had never went on stage and I never met you before. We never. No, 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 no. You had. I don't believe so. Yes. I don't believe. We had so. met. Okay, so. I had not met you. 2000. I was a freshman at uh, Georgetown University. You were there for the Daily Show, I which was that. a show you did I remember on the Comedy show. Central. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, and I remember that John Stewart, that guy. Yeah. Yes. 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 He is a 72-year-old Jewish man. He's 72 now. Wow. Yes. Your character is based on him, I believe. That's yes. Okay. <laughs> so I was at the. I was at. Georgetown. You were at Georgetown University. Okay. You were doing a remote segment uh, because there was a theology professor there who was an expert on saints. Sounds like me. You were do. Yes. Yeah. You yeah. weren't doing it for the show, just for your just own research. Just for my own soul. You were coming around Healy, which is the big, beautiful With hall. The tower. Yes. On and the top, I was headed yeah. to my 9 a.m. Euro Civ class. So it was about 8.30, no one else was on campus, and I passed you, and I was this little freckle-faced, puffy little hungover monster. And <laughs> I saw you, and I was already a huge fan from uh, Strangers with Candy and The Daily Show. Uh -huh. But this was in the age before cell phones, so I couldn't get a picture, so I just went, hey! <laughs> eh. I remember. Filed. I yeah. remember you. Yeah, you're the... Guy. I, I was like, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. 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 Georgetown. So yeah, Georgetown. Yeah. So wait, so it was, was that like, uh, is this all Vital Vittles in the bottom basement of Healy, yes. like that place? Yes. Yeah. Because I Vittles. dated a girl at Georgetown when I was uh -huh. in college, yeah. And you would go to Vital Vittles. I would go to Vital Vittles. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, which didn't sell condoms because it's a Catholic school. That's exactly right. Yes. That's exactly right. But le let's gloss over that part of the story. Well, yeah. I beg you. Well, you... Because I did not marry this person. Let us move on. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I apologize. She was very nice, very nice. She wasn't into me. Well, so, you can't no. marry everyone who's nice because then you'd be married to too many people. That's what I say That's exactly when true. I speak at schools. <laughs> Vital Vittles, but you're married. great place. You're married. Right? I'm married. Yeah, I got yeah, married. No, did you? Uh, I'm sorry, I interrupted your marriage story. No, I, I went. I got married. <laughs> we had a. It wedding. really, it really sounds like you're rubbing it in my face now. No, no. We're... I also got married eventually. We had a wedding, and th there's the story. <laughs> um, uh, uh, you went to Georgetown. Are you a Catholic? Yes, I was Because it's a Catholic. Jesuit school. Yes, it's, oh, I've only gone to Catholic schools. Jesuit high school, Jesuit college, Catholic elementary school. Were you an altar boy? Yeah. I was an altar boy, too. You were an altar boy for how 11 long? 11 years. 11 years. Yeah. I did four years. Wow. Uh, altar boys, it's pretty ceremonial. You, bring, you hold candles, uh, and you wear, a, like, a white dress. It's like, a lot like the guy that held the umbrella for Puff Daddy. Uh, <laughs> remember that guy? Yeah. Farnsworth Bentley. That was, his, that was name. his name. Yes. Wow. So I was an altar boy, and I'd stand up there, and uh, I was, you know, it was great. I'd serve weddings, and I'd get twenty dollars a wedding. 
Then sometimes the uh, uh, best man would tip you another $20. That's a lot of nuggets, baby. Yes. I was very excited about this until my friends who were Jewish started getting bar mitzvahed, and then I became very jealous about that because they were getting hundreds of dollars. <laughs> Wow. And, and meanwhile, I was having a confirmation. Were you confirmed? Of course I was confirmed. What do you mean, of course? <laughs> well, well, you went, I got married. I can say I got confirmed. That's true. Uh, you know, I go, what yeah, if you I'm forgot a, to but go? But I'm a Catholic. I know. I'm a Catholic. It's That's one of the true. sacraments. You have to be confirmed. You have to be or confirmed. Or else you're not a Catholic. Yes, it's a beautiful sacrament. Uh, the, while your friends who are Jewish are getting bar mitzvahed, which is like a party where you do the electric slide and get bags of money, yes. you're in a church getting oil on your forehead. When you're 14, your skin is as oily as it's ever been. <laughs> and then you are asked to reject Satan just as high school is beginning when you need him the most. It's true. Now, okay, obviously... But, but hey... We respect all religions. See? That's exactly true. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> what uh, the most important question then yes. is what's your confirmation name? Because the thing is, if you're not a Catholic, you get to pick a name. Yes. You choose your own name. What's your confirmation name? Martin. That's not bad. Not bad. Why? Uh, because a big my. Big Dean Martin fan. A big Dean Martin fan, yes. Why, yeah. Why Martin? Uh, Martin was the middle name of uh, my brother who passed away. My, oh. my older brother took Peter and I took Martin. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, uh, and why did your older brother take Peter? Because his, our little brother's first name was Peter. And he took that for his confirmation. So he already name. took that, so I took Martin. Oh, my middle, my confirmation name is Simon mm -hmm. because my brother Peter passed away, and I chose Simon, Simon because Simon Peter, Simon Barjona, thou art Peter. Oh, your brother's name was Peter too. Exactly. Oh, we wow. picked it for the yeah. same reason. Yeah. So yeah. I, uh, so I, it was Martin de Pore, but I really just did Martin because of my little brother. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. So that was very nice. Yeah, that is. The confirmations are nice. It's just I'd rather do the electric slide with everyone at a bar mitzvah. <laughs> now, uh, uh, are you still a Catholic? Uh, <laughs> I'm afraid my, that's my, all we my, have time my for. Parents are, my, parents are, my parents are watching. Yeah? Uh, I, you know, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> my, uh, how about, how about on Christmas let me, let me Day? Say on Christmas Day, are you going to be with your parents? Uh, no, I'll be on Broadway. So, uh, okay. that, so I guess th that's the least Catholic thing you can do. Uh -huh. <laughs> is be on Broadway and go to a Chinese restaurant ever after. Well, John Mulaney, it was lovely to see you. It was lovely to see you. Uh, Merry think... Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Thank you very much. Because... I will be going to church uh, next year on Christmas. Because I love the, the singing. I love the bad singing. Because, bad singing? Yes, because, it, well, one thing I admire also about Jews is they have Hebrew. So when you, when you sing, every, all, all people singing Hebrew doesn't sound great, right? But in church, people are trying to sing well, and they don't sound good either. There's guys that just work in church. You've seen these guys, not sure. priests. They all look like, they all kind of look like Marco Rubio. And they just work in church, and they have sport coats, and they pass the basket around. Then they get up and sing, even though they're not singers. They sing the psalms, and they're just like, the bread of bread is bread. It will bring bread. And then they raise their arms, and that means... For you to sing. For, for, artists, for us to sing now our part. Go. And if you think he didn't know his lines, we don't know our lines. <laughs> so we're scrambling to get that paper, and we're like, bread is bread. There is bread. It's just dad singing way too loud trying to get their kids to sing. Exactly. My dad once grabbed me by the back of my IZOD shirt during church and said, God can't hear you. Wow. Wow. What a great father. What a lesson for all of yes. us. Yes. Yes. John, thank you for being Pleasure here. Pleasure to nice be to here. Thank you, Stephen. John Mulaney. Hello. Oh, hello.